ocular tumors. Two important ocular tumors, new retinoplastoma and malignant melanoma of the eye. Okay? The retinoplastoma, which is the most common intraocular malignancy, primary intraocular malignancy of childhood, and accounts for about 3% of all childhood cancers. Even so, it is rare, occurring in about one in every 17,000 live births. The pattern of a tumor separate in the retinoplastoma, we have multiple uh, patterns of the separate. Either it's a growth pattern, maybe endophytic or exophytical. Endophytic, that the tumor growth is into the vitreous, from the retina into the vitreous, with seeding of a tumor cells throughout the eye, or it may be exophytic on the subretinal space, يعني مو من الداخل حيجي الجروث to the outside, causing retinal detachment. Retinoplastoma طبعا in arising مالتها من ال primitive retinal cells. ممكن يكون عندنا pattern هو optic nerve invasion with separate of the tumor along to the subarachnoid space to the brain or diffuse, diffuse infiltration of the retina without endophytic or exophytic growth أو ممكن حيكون metastatic separate to regional lymph nodes, bone, lung and brain بالنسبة genetics of retinoplastoma كلش مهم نفرق بين two types اللي هو heritable germline retinoplastoma and non-heritable أو يسمى بالsomatic retinoplastoma. Retinoplastoma results from malignant transformation of a primitive retinal cells before final differentiation because these cells disappear within the first year of life. The tumor is seldomly seen after three years of age. لهذا احنا منشوفه بس أول سنتين ثلاثة من الحياة يعني هاي primitive cells راح تروح يصير فيها final يعني final differentiation فهي المفروض بال primitive cells يصير بي ال malignant transformation. ما بي ما بي مثل ما قلت heritable أو non heritable. بالنسبة لل heritable أو germline retinoplastoma it accounts for about 40% with advanced paternal age suggests that in some patient the mutation has occurred in the father's sperm because all the retinal precursor cells cell mutation. These children develop bilateral and multifocal tumor. نتلاحظون حيكون bilateral tumor and multifocal tumor. In heritable retinoplastoma patient also have a predisposition to non-ocular cancers, pineal or supracellular primitive neuroectodermal tumor, also known as pineal plastoma, or trilateral retinoplastoma, which occur in about 3%. The second malignant neoplasm include osteosarcoma, melanoma, and malignancies of the brain and lung. Each of these tumors tending to occur in a particular age group. Health risk of the second malignancy is about 6%, but this will increase fivefold if external beam radiation has been used to treat the original tumor. يعني راح نستعمل radiation for the treatment راح نزيد the risk of the secondary tumor. The second tumor tending to arise within the irradiated field. In non-heritable retinoplastoma, or will stomatic, it accounts for 60% of cases. Lateral, we're going to be lateral. We're going to be unilateral. We're going to be the father to the son. Predispose the patient to second non-ocular cancer. Maybe it can be solitary. It means not multifocal. If the patient has a solitary retinoplastoma and non-positive family history. In the presentation of retinoplastoma, for example, it is the primitive retinal cells. For the first century, it is three. The presentation within the first year, usually, in bilateral cases, in one, in the bilateral by or multifocal, usually, we see around the first year of life. But in the unilateral and the solitary lesion, in one, usually, we see around two years. هو البرزنتيشن تجي بالـ بالراتيلوبلاستوما أهم برزنتيشن أو most common برزنتيشن هو يسمى بالـ leukocoria مثل ما تشوفون هنا white 
pupillary reflex يشوفون الوايت مرات حتى بالفوتوغرافس يأخذون صور الأهل وينتبهون أكو abnormal red reflex ماكو red reflex أكو الآي بها white reflex يخليهم يجون يسوون يعني consultation يعني هذا كلش مهم فيساعدني بال early detection واي أسباب من الكوكورية بس هنا أهم كوز نخاف من عنده هو الرتينوبلاستوما خاصة بال early age اللوكوكوريا أو الوايت بيبيلر ريفلكس is the commonest, the commonest presentation represents 60% and may be first noticed by the family photographs the second most common presentation هو السترابزموس the second it represents about 20% من الحالات لهذا احنا نقول الفندس examination is very important childhood strabismus إذا أنتوا أو غيركم امتحنتهم آني أو غيري دائما نقول لكم شنو الأسسمنت أوف سيكونت من ضمن الأسسمنت هو الفندس إكزامينيشن ليش تخيلون البيشنت اللي عنده تترا يعني عنده سيكونت طلاب تسمعوني طلاب نعم دكتور ليش تتخيلون اللي عنده سترابزموس او روتينوبلاستوما عنده سترابزموس صورة واضحة عندكم؟ اي دكتور واضحة من عنده روتينوبلاستوما بالروتينا it may affect vision يصير عندهم poor vision نتيجة للسنسوري ديبريفيشن او أو بلورد فيجن راح يصير عندهم سيكونت أو السنسوري سيكونت يعني نتيجة البلورد فيجن راح يصير عندهم سيكونت واضح؟ الثيرد برزنتيشن ممكن يجيني الطفل عنده سكندري جلوكوما which is occasionally associated with بوفتالموس مثل ما تشوفون بالصورة large corneal diameter أو هيزي كورني ممكن البرزنتيشن حيجيني على شكل red eye diffuse retinoplastoma invading the interior segment tend to present in older children it may cause a red eye due to tumor induced uveitis and iris nodule which may be associated with pseudohypopian هاي الصورة مبين بها pseudohypopian اللي هو YB cells اللي هي precipitated in the interior chamber ممكن other presentation هو orbital inflammation mimicking orbital or preceptal cellulitis may occur with necrotic tumors it does not necessarily imply extraocular extension and the exact mechanism is not known ممكن more orbital inflammation ممكن orbital invasion the orbital invasion with a proptosis and bony involvement may occur in neglected cases هذا other, other presentation of retinoplastoma. Other modes of, uh, of presentation ممكن metastatic disease involving regional lymph node and brain before the detection of ocular involvement عادة هذا يكون rare ممكن patient يصير and there is intraocular pressure due to a trilateral retinoplastoma before the diagnosis of ocular involvement أيضا هذا rare ممكن Detection of a tumor حيكون by routine examination of patient known to be at risk يعني family history positive and their father مثلا عنده retinoplastoma فيسوون monitoring للأطفال فdurant monitoring راح يشوفون ال tumor it's a detection of of a tumor هاي ما ما يخص ال presentation بالنسبة لل signs اللي راح نشوفها طبعا نحتاج indirect of thermoscopy with scleral indentation must be performed on both eyes after full midriasis this is because without indentation the pre-equatorial tumors اللي هي تكون anterior may be missed and one eye may harbor multiple tumor يمكن اشوف tumor posteriorly لكن اكو other foci of a tumor the clinical signs depend on tumor size and growth pattern an intraretinal tumor is homogeneous ممكن نشوف intra-retinal tumor 
مثل ما يشوفون أول صورة اللي هو homogeneous dome-shaped white lesion which becomes irregular open with often with white flecks of calcification ممكن نشوف endophytic tumor project into the vitreous as a white mass that may seed into the vitreous بالصورة الثانية أيضا واضحة أو نشوف exophytic lesion that form subretinal multilobular white masses and causes overlying retinal detachment. In the investigation, we need to use the retinal plastoma. طبعا أول شيء هم كلش مهم ال red reflex testing مثل ما شوفنا بالصورة بالكوكورية with direct ophthalmoscope has been recommended as a screening test in the community. Any asymmetry indicate full eye examination with the pupil dilatation and immediate referral to an ophthalmologist. Examination under anesthesia include the following شرحنا في حسبيه general examination of congenital anomalies of the face and the hand and so tonometry has an intraocular pressure, measurement of the corneal diameter if the glaucoma is present, and axial length of the eye. Examination with a handheld slit lamp. Documenting all findings with color drawings or photography. ممكن راح نستعمل الالتراسونوغرافي mainly to assess the tumor size. Also, it will detect the calcification within the tumor. هاي صورة كلش مهمة. تشوفون the dots of calcification. يصير بالرتينوبلاستوما. Other investigation نحتاج CT scan also to detect calcification. Significant dose of radiation and is performed only rarely. مثل ما قلنا من احنا عرضة للradiation خاصة بالهريتابل رتينوبلاستوما راح يزيد الريسك of secondary tumor. MRI cannot detect calcification but it is superior to CT scan for optic nerve evaluation and detection of extraocular extension plastoma. Systemic assessments include Hansawina physical examination and MRI scans of the orbits and skull. It's a minimum in high-risk cases. If these indicate the presence of metastatic disease, then bone scans, bone marrow aspiration, and lumbar puncture are also performed. نحتاج أيضا genetic studies that we require to require a fresh tumor tissue from the enucleated eye and a blood sample from DNA for DNA analysis, blood sample from the patient's relatives and a sperm sample from a father may also be useful. In the treatment of retinoplastoma, the treatment according to the size of the tumor, the diameter of the tumor and thickness, multiple choices of treatment ما راح ندخل بالديتيلز بيها ممكن عندي فوتو كوغيليشن استعمل ممكن كرايوثيرابي براكيثيرابي كيموثيرابي راديوثيرابي اند ايفن انيوكليشن يعني ريموفال اوف ذا اي جلوب كل هذه تشويسز تعتمد على الدايمتر اند ثيكنس اوف التيومر هذا ما يخص الراتينو بلاستوما اوكيو التيومر المهم اللي راح نحكي هو المالجنت ميلانوما أو الكرويدال مالجنت ميلانوما most common primary intraocular malignancy in adults pattern of tumor separate ممكن penetration of brook membrane and the RPE with herniation into the subretinal space treatment of ما يسمى بالcolor stud shape هذا characteristic of retinoplastoma هو الcolor stud shape ممكن invasion of the sclera or scleral channels of blood vessels and nerves resulting in orbital separate. Invasion of vortex vein, metastatic hematogenous separate to the liver and occasionally to the lungs, bone, skin, and brain. Optic nerve invasion is very rare, but with large peripapillary melanomas. Retinoplastoma. قلنا بإيرلي تشايلدهود الميلانوما لا بالأولدر ايج حصير 
شنو حن ريبريزنتيشن حيكون ريبريزنتيشن اوف كورويدال مالجنت ميلانوما طبعا ممكن تكون اسيمتوماتيك ممكن تكون سيمتوماتيك The presentation peaks at around the age of 60 years and occur in one of the following ways. Either asymptomatic tumor, usually in the periphery, detected by chance on routine fundus examination, performed on other reasons. Any patient who can diabetic, who can double vision class, or the assessment of a hasta of was at the pupil that has a fundus or accidentally ligate other tumor. Or it can be symptomatic tumor that causes decreased visual acuity. Blurring of vision, metamorphopsia, visual field loss, floaters, or photopsia. The floaters, and you should find particles moving in in front of the eye. Photopsia, you have sensitivity. The the flash flashlights has affected them. The patients. Structure on the retina. Structure on the retina. بالنسبة للسايز اللي راح نشوفها بالاكزامينيشن طبعا مختلفة السايز وفاريبل سايز ما عندي فدرول الها ممكن اشوف سوليتاري اليفيتد سبريتينال دوم شيب ماس which may be pigmented or less pigmented اللي يسموها اميلانوتيك تيومور اللي pigmented حتكون عادة جراي او براون تقريبا 60% of tumors located within 3 mm of optic disc or fovea Clumps of orange pigments are frequently seen in the RPE overlying the tumor. If the tumor breaks through book membrane, it's called a color stud appearance with visible blood vessels if the tumor is amelanotic. This is the next picture in the middle. Everything important is the color stud appearance of choroidal malignant melanoma. We can diffuse the tumor, but it will be rare. The characteristic of the tumor is by extensive flat or slightly raised morphology with a gray or brown irregular discoloration. Exudative retinal detachment initially confined to the surface, which later shifts inferiorly and becomes bullous retinal detachment. Unlike rigmatogenous retinal detachment, the subretinal fluid shifts with ocular movement and gravity to some of the shifting the fluids. Has a gravity, has a position my patient. Other signs we can see are choroidal folds, intraocular inflammation, hemorrhage, rubiosis iridis. If you know what rubiosis is, it's called diabetes, rubiosis iridis, secondary glaucoma, and cataract. All this is important to know the rule of systemic investigation in patients of choroidal malignant melanoma. The rule of the system is special investigation. Of course, what is the investigation we are going to do before we know what is? Why investigation? Although binocular indirect ophthalmoscopy combined with indirect distant lab by microscopy is sufficient for the diagnosis, in the vast majority of cases, the following may be useful. The first thing is the fluorescein angiography, diagnostic value, because there is no pathognomonic pattern. But the most common finding is the intrinsic tumor or with dual circulation in the tumor. The ultrasound useful detecting the tumor when the media or opaque and then the dense cataract marker issue for attach ultrasonography and to show extraocular extension. It is also useful to measure the tumor dimensions. The characteristic finding are internal homogeneity, choroidal excavation and orbital shadowing. I could have been able ultrasonography in the sura mojude but color stud configuration is almost pathognomonic. As you can see, the color stud is clear. Endocyanin green also shows hypofluorescence and provides more information than fluorescein angiography. MRI enhancement with gadolinium improves image quality, demonstrating optic nerve or orbital invasion. All is important. It detected orbital invasion with optic nerve invasion. And fascinating differentiation from other tumor. The color coded Doppler is also possible to feed them. May differentiate pigmented tumor from hemorrhage, particularly in eye with opaque media. Finally, the biopsy useful when the diagnosis cannot be established by less invasive method. I mean, other all, if I'm not satisfied with the diagnosis, I can go to the biopsy.
هسه نجي نقول شنو رول اوف سيستميك انفستيجيشن اوف كورويدال مالجنت ميلانوما نقطتين كلش مهمه اول وحده تو اكسكلود اميتاستاسيس تو ذا كورويد يعني اول شيء دا اشوف انه هذا التيومر اللي عندي هل هو ميتاستاسيس من اذر تيومر يعني الاوريجينال تيومر من اذر سايد اوف ذا بادي وهذا اجاني ميتاستاسيس للكورويد most frequently ممكن يجيني من اللنك in both sexes from the breast in women occasionally the primary site is the kidney or gastrointestinal tract okay فهذا الرول مال system investigation اول شيء اشوف انه هذا ممكن يكون metastasis او detect the possible metastasis metastasis separate from the choroidal lesion يعني بالعكس انا عندي choroidal melanoma ودا اسوي systemic investigation to detect the metastasis من هذا choroidal melanoma in other part of the body because of a large tumor size and if there is a clinical suspicion of metastatic separate hepatic involvement can be detected by ultrasonography and elevated lactate dehydrogenase gamma glutamyl transpeptidase and alkaline phosphatase level هاي تساعدني بالهيباتيك سيبريت lung secondaries in the absence of liver metastasis يعني most common عندي هو liver metastasis Only about one to two percent of patients have undetectable metastasis at the time of presentation. يعني نسبة واحد إلى اثنين بالمئة من الpatients عندهم coronal malignant melanoma ممكن يصير عندهم metastasis at time of presentation. بالنسبة لtreatment of coronal malignant melanoma performed to avoid the development of a painful and anxiety eye. يعني الهدف من treatment مالتي The eye to turn into painful or unsightly eye, preferably conserving as much useful vision as possible, since it is not known when metastatic occur. Metastasis occur. It is uncertain as whether or not ocular treatment influence survival. يعني مش شرط أثر لي على survival. من أكو metastasis. Theoretically, the smaller the tumor, the greater the opportunity for preventing metastasis, and therefore. The more urgent is the need for the treatment. Management should be tailored to individual patient to the individual patient, taking the following factors into consideration. كلش مهم الفاكتور هذي وشي size, location, and extent of the tumor together, which affect with their effect on vision. In the state of the fellow eye, هل other eye sighty ما بيها شيء أو other eye بيها مشكلة بالنظر. A general health and age of patients. The patient wishes and fears. Treatment may not be required in following cases. We can want to have the patient in a large area. The tumor is slowly growing and present in the only seeing eye of a very elderly or chronically ill patient. And the tumor slowly growing. وبالعين الوحيدة اللي يشوف بها المريض. المريض very old age و chronically ill يعني ما راح يتحمل هذا chemotherapy أو radiotherapy ليش أعرضه أنا إلى effect أخرى و side effect أخرى هو دي وهي العين الوحيدة اللي تشوف ممكن هو مدام سنولي ممكن النظر يطول عنده إلى أن يروح فأنا أعرضه إلى side effect of treatment هو أصلا ill ما يتحمل side effect أو if it is not possible to determine clinically whether a tumor هل هو small melanoma أو لارج نيفوس يعني أنا بالإكزامينيشن والإنفستيجيشن بعدني ما قدرت أفرق هل هذه ميلانوما أو هاي كورويدال مالجنت ميلانوما العفو نيفوس ما أقدر أفرق من الميلانوما والنيفوس فهذا راح أخليه بس follow up in this case the lesion is observed and treatment is administered only if the growth is documented by, by sequential ultrasonography or photography عندي أيضا هواية وتختلف accordingly هي البراكيثيرابي، راديوثيرابي، ترانس بيوبيلاري، ثيرموثيرابي، وانيوكليشن يقولوا لنا هو ريموفال اوف ذا اي جلوب. هذا ما يخص الكورويدال ماليجنانت ميلانوما. طلاب احد عنده سؤال؟ <تصفيق> 